Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Cloud City by Blue Orange Games. This game plays two to four players, takes roughly half an hour to play, and is for ages 10 and up. And in the game, Cloud City, well, you're going to be building a cloud city. You are going to be gathering new city tiles, placing buildings, optionally placing walkways, and then of course, drawing a new tile. It's a very simple game, very straightforward. Your objective is to create cities, skyscrapers, create pathways that latch, latch to them, and score those points at the end of the game. With unique objectives that come out every game and change the way you're going to be building your three by three city, you're going to have a lot of different challenges that await you in this game. I'll take you into it, how it's set up, how it's played, and of course my review. To begin setup for the game Cloud City, go ahead and shuffle the tile deck and deal out three face-up tiles to form the supply in the middle of the table within reach of all players. Then give each player a singular double-sided tile and place the buildings of the corresponding colors on those tiles in front of those players. Deal out three building tiles face down to each of those players from the supply and make sure that no one sees them. They're secret other than the players that get them. Then set the walkway piles up. Go ahead and place the blue, the brown, and the green walkways within reach of all players. They'll correspond from one space all the way up to six spaces. After that, you're going to deal out two objective cards from the objective deck after shuffling. That will be your unique bonus victory objectives that you can get at the end of the game. And last but not least, take the buildings. Place those buildings out within easy reach of all players next to the board so that players can gather them and place them when building their city. And that's pretty much the setup for the game. Cloud City is decidedly easy to play. This game is going to take place over a number of rounds, and during each player's turn there will be four phases. Phase one is quite simple. Select a tile from your hand and place it down adjacent to a tile that is currently already on your city. Once you have done that, you'll take place the next phase of the game, which is to place your buildings. These are both mandatory phases of your turn. When you place that tile down, you'll select the buildings from the supply and place those buildings onto the tile in the corresponding square spaces on that tile. After you have placed your tile and then placed the buildings, you have an optional step. You can, if you would like, take any of the walkways and place them down so that they correspond with the same exact color of the building so that they can connect. You may never connect two separate buildings and you're going to see that it's always going to be flush for that specific type of building. If you can't or don't want to place walkways, you will finish up the last step of the game, which is to choose a new tile. You can choose a new tile from any of the three face up tiles in the supply or from the top of the deck. If you take a supply tile that is face up, you're going to replace that tile with a new tile from the top of the deck so that there's always going to be three options when players select them. Once you've done these four steps, it'll pass to the next player, and each player will do these exact four steps. The game will continue in rounds until every single player has made a three by three grid, or nine tiles, to create a square and basically built walkways to connect their buildings of the exact same color. The farther your buildings are, the more points you will score, and if you can connect buildings in the way that the objectives want you to, you will gain or potentially not have to lose victory points for building your cloud city. After that, you'll score your points, and whoever has the most is the winner of the game. Rather simple, quite unique, and with some strategy involved too, let's talk about my review. Cloud City is a tile laying game first and foremost. Gathering tiles, choosing tiles, placing them down onto your city, and creating a 3x3 grid. Placement of buildings and placement of tiles is rather important. If you do not place adjacent colors together, then you might not be building pathways. So you're always going to want to make sure that blue goes to blue, green goes to green, and brown goes to brown. In any case, as much as you possibly can, always make sure to try and connect your buildings. Another thing to note is that when you are building your pathways on your buildings, you're going to want to make sure that there are pathways available in the supply, because if those pathways run out, you will not have access to them. So make sure that when you choose to select specific buildings and where you choose to build them, it will correspond with a pathway that's currently in the supply that hopefully no one will take by the time you want to build that specific tile slash buildings. After you've placed your tiles, it just goes in round order. It's very, very simple. Gathering a tile to choose to place onto your grid, placing it, placing buildings, hopefully placing pathways, and then of course drawing a new tile so that you always have three unique tiles in hand, and then beginning to think about what your next turn is going to be. In this game, 
there's not a huge amount of player interaction. You have your own grid, I have my own grid, and the only aspect of the game that involves us, us terrorizing each other in any way is selecting tiles that the other may or may not want. However, if you're across the table on the right-hand side, it's not very likely that you're going to get the tile I want, or I'm going to get the tile you want, etc., etc., uh, because tiles are just going to go throughout the game. So you're going to have to just select what is available to you when your turn comes around. There's only so much pre-planning when it comes to the tiles available, but there is a lot of pre-planning when it comes to the tiles that are currently in your hand, and how best you're going to utilize them. The game has a tinge of luck. What tiles pop out, what tiles you have to start with, and how you're able to place them will make a big difference. But the most important aspect of the game is the strategy, which comes down to placing your tiles in the correct location when you choose to place them, and of course, setting yourself up for turns in the future based on what you know you're going to be able to utilize. If something else better comes along, then you can go ahead and take that in its right place and in its right turn, but there's no guarantee of that. So guaranteeing yourself to be able to complete objectives or prevent yourself from not having to complete objectives is going to be useful as well. Uh, so for example, some of these objective cards. If you have uh, two pathways that cross over each other because each of the buildings has a different height, you're going to lose two victory points. So you're going to have to try and abide by this rule so that you do not suffer any negative point loss at the end of the game. However, if you're able to get certain tiles like this one here, you can get six points for creating certain types of the different types of uh, structures. Uh, some of them are going to require you to only build one pathway on a given town because or on a given building, because in general, you're only going to be able to, able to build two. But this one here is asking you to just build one. Now this one here gives you a um, bit benefits if you have the most green or the most blue. If you're able to build the longest specific city of a given specific color, etc., etc. And these are all objectives that are going to be mixed and matched throughout the game. And of course, if you want to create a little bit of a variance, you can make two, three, or even four different objectives at the end of the game to score unique bonus points. And players can kind of try and uh, finagle their way around to get the most points available. Everything is about supply. Supply is always going to be an issue in this game and making sure you have the right pieces for the right time is going to be important as well. This feels nice. It's kind of like a solitaire game that involves checking out what other players have, what their points are, and how they're building their buildings. Learning based on what they play and then learning on what you play is going to be imperative as well, especially if it's your first or second game. And there's always going to be a change in how you build your structures, learning about the different paths, and how you can gain a lot more victory points for building longer walkways than you would for building shorter ones. This one here is eight points, whereas this is only going to be three. But as you can see, two of these guys is actually larger than one of these. So the total of this is going to be six, and this is still eight. So if you can build those long walkways, you score points. However, there's only two or three of the big ones, and when you're playing a four-player game and people are competing, you might run out of those. In which case, you'll be ending up with two buildings that you actually cannot connect any longer, and that can be a pain in the butt to try and make sure that they do. It's a simple game. It's a straightforward game, and it flows very well. This is a game that you can teach in a couple minutes, people can play in about 20 to 30 minutes, and you can jump back in and play once again. It's a puzzle game. It's a bit of a tableau management, or I should say, sorry, a tile placement game now that involves management and, of course, controlling the area that you have specifically to yourself. What I would like to see with this game is a little bit more player interaction. There'd be some unique little things I'd like to see where I can kind of mess with other players' boards or vice versa. Players should be able to play a tile maybe that has some type of ability on it when they're also playing it that can allow them to uh, steal or uh, change a bridge or add extra bridges to the game. Uh, any of these things can be nice. I see a lot of ways that they can incorporate different expansions into this game uh, if it did well or does well. This is a game that's already been made. I think it's been out for quite a bit, but I got it and I wanted to check it, take it out and check it out because I know Callie likes puzzle games. It's not too much of a puzzle game where I'm not going to enjoy myself or I'm not going to understand it, which is nice. It's very simple and straightforward. And there is some unique twists and turns along the way that you learn as you play the game and you'll get better as you play as well. Overall, Cloud City is an excellent game. It's a fun game. It's a tile placement game. I would say it's on the medium to light range of games. So for those of you gamers who enjoy light puzzle games, this is something simple and straightforward that you can play with your kids and family. This is going to be something 
something I would strongly check out. Additionally, too, I think about who I would play this game with, and in this case, almost any of my family would be interested in playing this game, would understand this game, and we could jump in and play this game, which is a nice little additive as well. Yes, Cloud City is going to get my seal of recommendation, especially because of a puzzle game. It was something I enjoyed, something I had fun with, and just enjoying the pre-planning was something that was really cool. Only things I would like to see, like I said, is additional components, additional actions, things that can affect other players, and maybe even additional things other than just the simple uh, straightforward pathways. But again, that's kind of the point of the game. So maybe I'm just asking for future expansions. The quality, the components, the artwork are all solid, easy to understand and easy to place and uh, figure out what the best combinations are going to be, uh, as well as of course, learning the different aspects of the game. So anyway, Cloud City, take a look down below if you're interested. This is a game I highly recommend for those puzzle lovers out there and those people who like making tile placement fun, simple, and King Domino style easy. Thank you for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Cloud City by Blue Orange Games. If you like this video, you can check out more of our videos here on YouTube. You can also check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Pixar lists, and more. Don't forget to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to this specific uh, channel and video. It definitely greatly helps us out. We get to go ahead and see more stuff from here. And of course, don't hit the, don't forget to hit the bell notification button. That thing will get you uh, more, more notified. Why, why you have to, I don't know why you have to do that. Why you have to hit the bell notification? You have to like, push the button as well in order to make sure that you're guaranteed to see the videos. Uh, anyway, if, if that's something you want to do. Regardless though, thank you so much. And as always, I look forward to building a cloud city with you next time.